Good evening. My name is Aurelia Wynn. I'm the owner and operator of Wynn Publications. Um, tonight, um, could you tell me who I have the pleasure of speaking with and where you're from and maybe tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Charlotte Robinson. My pen name is S. Robinson and I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I have a nine-year-old son and pretty much I'm just doing um, all of my self-employed entrepreneurial things right now, um, photo photography and um, graphic design and all that kind of stuff, aside from writing. Wow. How do you find time to do all of that? Um, I just make it work. I kind of treat it like I don't have a choice because I really, 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 really do not want a regular nine-to-five kind of situation. Yeah. So I just have to, you know, make it work. Wow. So how has it been? How long have you been doing um, full-time entrepreneurial stuff? Um, I want to say maybe two years now. Wow. Um, and I pretty much just get little seasonal photography jobs on and off. Mm -hmm. um, like as needed, but that's pretty much it, yeah. Wow, okay. Wow, well, let's go ahead and talk about your books then. Um, I know I was kind of looking over the notes for this podcast, and you had said something about you. Maybe, did you just publish a book, or is it coming out? Yeah, I just published um, my first one called Even Fall, and I published that one in December. Okay. And um, so, yeah, that one's been sitting out for a little bit, and I'm about to publish another one by the end of this month. I'm mm. excited about that one, too. Okay. So what uh, you said the title of it was called, um, can you say it again and then tell us maybe a little bit about what it is? Yeah, the one that I have out right now is called Evenfall, okay. and it's, um, it's a fantasy novel. Like, I centered it around fairies, but I placed them... I placed them in the real world, but I didn't really give much interaction between, like, fairies and humans or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, um, it's kind of like a, it follows, first it follows River, the main character, and then it ends up following River and Will, who she meets later, um, together throughout the rest of the book. And they end up, um, their, like, paths kind of intertwine, and they don't realize that they're, like, they were closer than they thought they were when they first met mm -hmm. and um and so yeah so they both end up back in even fall and kind of everything goes from there oh interesting okay where'd you get the idea for this book i have no idea that it just kind of came <laughs> it kind of came to me because i always loved fantasy books and um i guess my main goal was writing fantasy books where um, black people are the default instead of the token, mm -hmm. and so that's where all, that's all my stories are like that. First mm -hmm. of all, and then second, it, it just I love the idea of fairies, and I kind of wanted to create. Did you hear so many different like folklore and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. So I kind of just wanted to create my own, I guess you could say. And and I think my my stories come from. It's almost like they start as movies in my head first, mm -hmm. and then I just write them out. And that's just, yeah, that's how we end up getting books for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I like it. Okay, so then what's this, is this second book, like, is it a part of a series, or? Um, I wasn't going to, but, because my book ends up only being, it's more like a novella, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. It's like 110 pages in, in the printed form, and... Um, in my reviews, everyone was like, I can't wait to see the sequel. And I was like, I wasn't going to write one, but okay. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> right. now that, that that's the thing. Um, so, no, the second book is um, a superhero one. Okay. And they're, these ones are based um, pretty much, they, they come from Africa, but the um, current story is they defend, like, the African diaspora in America. Mm. And... That's where we're at. Right? I'm finishing that one up right now. Ooh, okay, nice. So, shoot, if I have a season three of the author's spotlight, we'll have to get you to come back on and tell us about the third one. Nice. I mean, the second one. Maybe, hey, maybe there will yeah, be a third I one. <laughs> right. Because apparently that's the thing. <laughs> if that came out, I'm sorry. I know you said there was only two. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> okay. So then what has been the toughest challenge that you face in becoming an author? Um, I would say the toughest is kind of not knowing, because that was, this is never, like, it's from childhood up, I want to write books was never a thing that I said ever. 
Hmm. So I think I was dealing with that kind of transition as, like, I've always been creative, but it was more visually creative. I love photography hmm. and video and, um, you know, just making things visually pretty. Yeah. But um, writing has never been a thing. I used to write poetry when I was younger, but that's not, like, that's not the same thing at all. So I'm honestly not sure where this came from. Mm-hmm. So, but... And then, but in hearing like reviews and stuff like that, and then especially from my mom, she's a um, English teacher, retired English teacher, mm-hmm. and she's like, "This is actually really good." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's just been a very interesting yet challenging transition into something like putting your art in written word. It's a very strange concept for me. Mm, oh wow nice so you sound like a writer what I love like oh my gosh so I love getting to do this podcast because I'm like dang like I, I'm so honored I get to talk to smart people all the time and and you guys sound good I'm like ooh, okay <laughs> so I don't know I'm sorry I'm I that's just a little quirk about me I guess you know we all have our thing um oh, I dig it yeah, so what advice um, or lessons can you offer to other writers? Um, I would say the one that I especially keep hearing from other authors to me is, just, like, to just write mm. kind of thing. Because I know that, like, I've been talking to, I've made a lot of new, like, um, writer friends recently because I kind of just delve in. Like, the first thing I do when I start something new is join a bunch of groups on Facebook and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, so I've made a few new, like, writer friends, and it's one of those things where the ones that haven't published yet, for some reason they have the story inside of them, they just won't, they won't write for some reason. So, and then it's the same thing with me, where I, <clears throat> where I wrote out, like, an outline or whatever, but I hadn't mm-hmm. actually started to write the story. So once I actually sat down to write the story, I was done in, like, maybe four months or something like that. Mm. And it's one of those things where, like, you literally just got to sit down and start typing or writing. Yeah. And and then you'll be done before you know it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so true. (laughs) Earlier. So it was so weird. So this past weekend, I ended up meeting some random lady in the park. I took my daughter out there. I really wasn't trying to be at the park, but we just went anyway. And I met this lady, and anyway, so her and I, we might be working on a book together. And so I messaged her today when I got off of work, and I was like, hey, have you written anything? And she was like, yeah. And she's like, did you write something? And I was like, a little bit. <laughs> like, I, I didn't really. So I'm like, okay, just hearing you say that, like, just write. I'm, like, telling myself, like, okay, girl, this is the second time you heard that you need to just write. So, I mean, I publish books, but I also have a story of my own to tell. So, definitely, yeah. definitely, just just got to do it. Just got to do it. Okay, well, have you ever encountered any moments that made you feel like you wanted to quit? And then, if so, how did you handle it? Um, I had a brief moment, because I'm, because I'm self-published, mm-hmm. I had a brief moment of, like, Giving up on the book being, like, I was like, okay, I got the story out, is what it is, kind of thing. So mm-hmm. giving up on it, on it being, like, like, people's like, you might be a bestseller and stuff like that. And I'm like, stop, or whatever. But then I'm like, but why, <laughs> why am I saying stop? Like, that's, it's still a possibility. Yes, I don't have a publisher backing me, but it doesn't mean my book can't get popular yeah. or, you know, make its rounds or whatever. Um, so, yeah, so I had, a, I did have a brief moment where I was like, okay, I'll just put you and fall out and then that'll be it. But I was like, no, I have a few more stories at least yeah. that I can, um, you know, get out there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think you're alone in that. Actually, the other day, I was just talking to someone who said the same thing. You know, they wanted to stop writing and then, you know, kept going. Um, so then what What would you say are your top three reasons that keep you going? Um, I think the... First reason is just it makes me happy, period. Mm-hmm. I try not to get into anything where um, where I'm, I'm just going to stress me out to do it, especially create, like if it's created, related to creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's even with, like, my photography. Like, I do the seasonal jobs, but I never do them long because, I, like, the ones that are, like, um, kind of the cookie cutter, like I did um, 
life touch for a long time. Mm. Um, then I used to photograph, um, like, cars for, like, um, dealerships and stuff like that. Mm. And I'm one of those people that has no problem just quitting because I'm like, this is depressing. I don't do this anymore. <laughs> and it's oh, just, wow. if it doesn't make me happy, I leave. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just kind of my personality, I guess. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that's what keeps me going is that if this is something that makes me happy. So I guess the second, which is why I guess I'm glad that I maybe don't have, like, a publicist going or something like that. Because if I was being pressed, like, okay, you have to get this next book out in three months, I'd be like, I quit. I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I just, I don't know. It's, when it's creativity, yeah. I don't want to risk the happiness part of it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um and then the second thing would be my son, because I want him, he's very creative, too, and I want him to grow up knowing that that's an option. You can mm-hmm. do the things that you love to do and make money for it and be happy all at the same time. That's a possibility. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the last thing would be is just um, the black community, I guess, and mm-hmm. putting out these stories, because it's one of those things where it's like you can't, how, you can't demand that these stories come out if you have them and you're not writing them kind of thing. Mm. And, like, it has to kind of start somewhere. So that's, I guess, think those are the three things keeping me going. Wow. I, hey, I like that last thing that you said. You know, if you're not going to be a solution to the problem, then right. you're kind of just complaining. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, that's awesome. So, okay, wow, this has been an awesome interview. My last question is, is there anything else that you want to share or offer to the community? Um, I just, I guess specifically talking to black creatives, like, just create. We need, like, your work out there, no matter how big or small it is, even if you're just doing calligraphy on your side you know, on your be it free time or whatever, just if it's anything, just put it out because we need that inspiration for the generations that are coming after us. Yes, ma'am, I agree. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and then do you mind telling us where we can find you at on uh, just your social media accounts? Yes, I am S. Robinson Writes on um, Instagram, and then I'm author S. Robinson on Facebook, but I believe you can still type in. That's Robinson Rice. And um, that's the only place I'm on. I'm on a few of the, like, book blurb sites and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, all of my books will be able to be found on Amazon. Awesome. Well, thank you.